Today, reviewing the third installment from the Squam Brewery of Holderness, New Hampshire. They have three beers out. This is the third one. It's the only one I've not reviewed yet on YouTube. And this is their Golden IPA. And this Golden IPA comes in with an 8.5% ABV. So, um, the uh, artwork here is uh, a picture of Lake Chikora, which is in the uh, lakes region of New Hampshire, not far from Squam Lake. So, I'm going to pour this into a small Cronenberg glass, like I've done before, so I can maybe drink the whole thing from my review, and then savor the rest of it for later. I'm going to take the cap off and see what happens here. Oh, not too good that time. Let's try this one. There we go. A bad little smoky sensation going on. And let's pour it into this Cronenberg mini glass, quarter liter glass. IPA, and it's got a nice cloudiness going on, which is quite typical for IPAs, I think. Put there so you can see it. Um, this kind of a golden color, uh, yellowish, but more of a golden tone, but very, very cloudy. And you got a head that's about a finger, or I'd say about I don't know, quarter of an inch or so, but it's slowly fading down. The uh, carbonation is fairly regular, but this is just densely cloudy, densely hazy. Let's give it a, a whip. There's definitely a lot of fruitiness going on here, like pears or like bananas or something like that, but it also has a good IPA, uh, uh, I should say hoppy uh, sensation is in here as well. And um, floral might be a good term to describe it as well. But what I really get right off the bat is that kind of banana or pear sort of a sensation mixed with a hop. So it's, it's actually got a very eloquent aroma. That's, that's very nice. Okay, give it a taste. Eight point five percent ABV, as I mentioned. You don't notice a lot of the alcohol, but the hops are quite bitter. They come on strong. Uh, the hops uh, kind of line up in the back of your throat, but they're there from start to finish. The, um, there's a bit of a maltiness, but that's really kind of minor compared to the hoppiness, but it's not a super hopped beer. It's above average for hops, not overly done. Um, but the hops are right there from the first sip on the tongue and right down the throat. They're there the entire time. Not as much fruity in the taste, I will say. The fruity is more in the aroma, less fruit on the taste. Mm. But it's actually a very nice beer. I, I like this one a lot. Um, kind of a creamy uh, texture to it, a good body. Not a bold body, but a pretty good body. Definitely not watered down or lightweight in any way. A pretty decent body. And uh, just definitely is very densely clouded. That's really, it's really nice for an IPA when you get a lot of that uh, cloudiness and haziness. At least I like it when, you do, when it happens that way. So I'm going to try drinking this down and give you my final thoughts. Okay, I'm down to the uh, final sip in the glass. finish it off and you know again the malts are, it's a sweet maltiness that's buried under the hops but the overall beer is very well balanced I think um, it, it just seems to really go together well it's uh, you know I like hops but I'm not one of these guys that likes to be hopped out some people just love them hops really like that whole strong bitter sensation that kind of puckers up your your mouth and, and you feel it all over your body. I just like the hops to be there in a noticeable fashion for an IPA. They don't need to be overwhelming and this to me does that which is why I like this beer. So um, thumbs up on that one. A nice beer and this is the uh, third and final at least so far for what they've made in this new brewery that opened at the, in the summer of 2010 from Squam Brewing of Holderness, New Hampshire and this is their Golden IPA. So thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.